You doing all right? You need a ride? Hop in. You sure you're all right, man? It's just a little cold. So do you have a home? No. Where am I supposed to drop you off? No. Oh shit. You're up? Yeah. What were you doing? I said you were turning into oncoming traffic. Uh, uh, there was a, a man? I picked up a drifter. I I thought he died, and I w I was checking to see if he was all right. I, I must have swerved into oncoming traffic. I don't, is my truck all right? You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> Mr. Barry. <sighs> Hi, I'm Nancy Hopstad. I'm family law. Uh, nice to meet you. But am I in trouble or? It's actually, well, more unusual than that, Mr. Barry. Oh, so? The man you picked up, he is one, he was one of my clients. He requested that you read these, and you're also included in his will. Wait, what? I know this must be confusing. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, but Legally, I can't tell you much until you've read this. Have a swift recovery, Mr. Barry. Thank you, Nancy. My name is Timothy Cabbage, and I am a drifter. I left my girlfriend, a choice I regret, but no one ever seems to ask why. What I had stumbled upon next would define my life for many years. I never intended to live on the outskirts of life, but that life came and sat next to me. You look lost, friend. How'd you guess? Well, it's quite obvious, really. Got your whiskey, you're stinking of depression. Want to know what I recommend? What do you recommend? You need a nice, relaxing occupation. Ever thought about being your own boss? Thought about it. Never really got around to it. I'm in this club. We're looking for a new member, and I think you've got what it takes. I don't think so, buddy. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure yet. It's a lot to go through. I haven't read that far. You seem to be looking pretty far into this. Yeah, I mean, the father that I know has been dead since I was like ten. Oh. What do you think I should do? I think you need to thank him. Find a way to thank him. How do you expect me to do that?
Ladies and gentlemen, today is a special day indeed. As we all know, we recognize the Father as the giver of wisdom and knowledge. And for those of you that are here today with your fathers, I'd like for you to take a moment and turn to your father and tell them who have you become and why have you become the person you are today. Father's Day is not a religious holiday, but just as we honor our Father and Lord, we are compelled in the Sixth Commandment to also honor our mother, and particularly on this day, to honor thy father. Amen. I had joined up with a biker clan known as the Drifter Society. We were a clan of outcasts, and I was one of their members. It was the midst of October. We drove on motorcycles through grave digging cold. The Drifter Society never quite had a place to stay, a real place. We took shelter each night in any bar that would accept us, just smelly, disgusting, feral outcasts, with the moral ethics of a caveman. We grew to be none more than shallow, hating society, drifters. Our rivals, the railers, found us that evening. The bar was empty with all but the emblem of a lost soul. Railers, we shouted as they took several Molotov cocktails, lighting our bikes on fire, causing the whole place to go up in smoke. The fire burned wide and hot. I lost everything. My friends, my bike, my way of life. The burning alcohol took a heavy toll on my lungs, and there was only one solution now. My troubles were gone, and I had my fun. It was time to go home. I wasn't sure where home was, really. I wasn't sure what would happen if I had returned home. All I knew was someone out there might have been thinking of me. I think the thing I miss the most about having a home is to be able to take a hot shower and sleep in a bed made of cloth and springs and not hay. I spent many nights alone wondering if I had the strength to go home, but I needed to know what changed while I was gone. I'm just thinking about him, aren't you? I just, I don't know what to believe anymore. What do you mean? I mean, like, who is this man? Like, where did he come from? Like, why? What if he's just, like, this, this repo type man? He's, he's trying to steal my dignity away from me, just forcing me to live in fear that my own father wasn't hey. even actually... Hey. Now you're going through a lot right now, huh? You could get through this. Let's just turn on the TV. It'll be okay. Huh? I'll watch something else. Yeah. You headed anywhere specific or? The storage units will be fine. Maybe the ones by the old grocery store in the center of town. So, you got a name or what? My name is Timothy. I never had hope like this. When I left my girlfriend, I only knew loneliness. I joined up with Drifter Society for two reasons. Escape and freedom. Many nights, wandering, looking for people who were nice enough to accept me into their life for a minute. It wasn't home, but it was as close as I could find. I felt a strange sensation, like a magical force forbidding me from opening the door. All I could imagine in the child's eyes, in my ex-girlfriend's eyes, was pity. Pity that I've let myself go. Pity that I'd never been there to witness his birth. So I stayed outside. And I never came back, except once a year, when his birthday rolled around. My Christmas, I called it. 
I had pictures of him, from when he was small to when he was grown. I've always been there, watching out for him, indirectly taking care of him, and whether he knows it or not, he saved my life. Hmm. Well? It's interesting. I met him over a year ago, and at the time he said he didn't ever want to meet you in person. Why would he say that? He was sick. So he was embarrassed. It's actually really amazing you met him before I came to your door. Well, I guess that's it. Um, I'll wait. There is actually something else I need to know. I uh, don't know entirely what to say. <laughs> I've learned that this complete stranger that died in my truck is actually a huge part of my life, and I guess I'm more your son than I thought.